In this video, we'll explore a particularly important application of op-amps, namely the design of high-performance filters that do not require inductors. First-order low-pass and high-pass filters require nothing more than resistors and capacitors. These passive filters are easy to design and analyze, but when system requirements cannot be met by a first-order filter, the designer must consider a second-order or other higher-order filter. Higher order filters can be designed by taking advantage of the resonance that results from the interaction of capacitance and inductance. However, engineers often try to avoid the use of inductors. Relative to resistors and capacitors, they are larger, more susceptible to EMI, more likely to generate problematic EMI, and less compatible with integrated circuit techniques. This is a Unity Gain Salon Key Low Pass Filter. As you can see, it requires only one op amp, two resistors, and two capacitors. We call these filters active because they include an amplifying component. A detailed analysis of the Salon Key Low Pass Filter is not particularly straightforward. Nevertheless, we can acquire a general understanding of the circuit's operation by performing non-mathematical analysis. Notice that the passive components resemble a typical second-order RC Low Pass Filter. The only difference is that C2, instead of creating a high-frequency path to ground, creates a high-frequency path for positive feedback. If we ignore the positive feedback path, the circuit is a second-order RC low-pass filter connected to a voltage follower. High frequencies are shorted to ground, and low frequencies are passed to the input of the op-amp, and the op-amp buffers the output of the filter. At frequencies near the cutoff frequency, the impedance of the capacitors is comparable to the resistance of the resistors, and the positive feedback path provided by C2 allows the circuit to generate the higher Q type of response that we expect from resonance-based filters. The cutoff frequency of the Unity Gain Salon Key Low Pass Filter can be calculated as shown here. We can create a non-Unity Gain active filter by including the familiar resistive divider in the negative feedback path, with low frequency gain calculated the same as with the typical op-amp-based non-inverting amplifier. If we swap the resistor and capacitor in an RC low pass filter, we convert the circuit into a CR high pass filter. We can then cascade two CR high pass filters to create a second order CR CR high pass filter. Incorporating this configuration into the Salon Key topology gives us the Salon Key Unity Gain high pass filter. The expression for cutoff frequency is the same as the Salon Key low pass filter, and we use the same technique to incorporate gain. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.